All right, so I'm gonna show you guys something out for. See how the carpet is rippling? We got a loose carpet in this room, and it is not in relation to the cleaning. It's just the carpet needs to be stretched and reset. So if you have your carpets cleaned and it bubbles up during the cleaning, generally, just about 100% of the time, it is in direct relationship to the carpet being loose already. And you're seeing the ripples now because the carpet's damp and it expands a little bit. It tends to go back to where it was when, you're, when they're done and it's dry. But um, if you've noticed this in your carpet and you get it professionally cleaned, you can just pretty much just bet that uh, it's going to bubble up. Like, see, if I push right here, you can see that little bubble in front of the, the wand of about a foot. Um, and that's going to happen. So if you have that issue, your carpet needs to be stretched. And it's very rare that a carpet cleaner causes it unless they probably over wet it or somehow tug on the uh, the edges and loosen it up somehow which is pretty rare but it does happen but yeah if you see ripples like that your carpet does need to be stretched what's up everybody in Nolan with Black Diamond Services so here at our second job as you can see I gotta do some subsurface extraction so I will put the picture I took prior to this being scrubbed and letting the unchained dwell for a bit. So I'll show you guys that here now. All right, everybody. Third job of the day, last job. So we got a little bit of a doozy here. This was a rental, of course. So originally when we first got here, see this area here besides that stain? That's a lot lighter. They were wanting me to just go around and do the perimeter where it's visually looks more affected. So a key thing when you come across a situation like this is you gotta make sure they understand that if you go and clean it, there's a chance that there might be a trans transition of clean to dirty, even though this looks like it's in good shape, it may look different. So we are doing this whole room. Um, so that, you know, I was able to tell her that and she decided to go ahead and have us do the whole room, which I understand, you know, if it isn't in bad shape, and you're renting the place, you know, you only want to clean the areas that are really affected, but um, numerous times, especially on tile, which this just certainly does need to be done, um, but unfortunately we're not, it uh, shows a big difference where you stopped and where you started, especially if you got rooms that connect together. So if she told me to just go, hey, just go up to this section here, just kind of like right here and over, I guarantee you're gonna see a difference. So she was good with that, did that room, but on the stairs, she only wants us to do these two here, the whole thing. And then basically, kind of here to here, like the center, all the way up. So all of this, all of this one here, or I'm sorry, half of this one, and then the center is mostly of this. And then what we're doing, we're not touching that room. We're obviously doing this room, the whole thing. We're doing the whole thing of this room, which we got a red stain here. We'll see if that we can get that to pop out. Um, and then in the master, we're only going up to about right here to the wall and then over to here. We're not touching the rest of this. She didn't want us to do the rest of that. So 
there's the rest of the room. And then also, wanted us to come out to about right here and lead up to this traffic area here. Don't worry about this part of the hallway or this part here. So in a situation like this, it's tricky and you gotta document your stuff because if you don't, and let's say you know, you're know you dealing with the tenant and then the landlord comes in and is like, whoa, wait a second. Why is it clean over here but not clean over there? So they may say, well, who, had, who did you have come clean for you? And then they're gonna call me and be like, hey, you missed a lot. You didn't clean the whole thing. And I'm gonna be like, well, hold on a second. Here's, here's what we discussed with your tenant and I got it documented and now I even have it video documented technically here. So, uh, but it's just important that you follow those steps and you make sure you document, 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 which I hear all the time um, from, from uh, some mentors of mine uh, in this cleaning industry. And the reason being is because obviously you don't want to put yourself in a situation where you're going to get a bad review or something like that, but you're also trying to cover yourself, make sure you do a good job based on the, the job at hand. Um, but this is just one of those situations that can bind you up and get you in a, a mess potentially. So it's important that you not only say stuff like that to the client, um, but also document it and even type it or write it however you do your invoicing on the paperwork or in your system that, hey, we did a, par a portion of the hallway upstairs, a portion of this room, um, only spot cleaning here, whatever it may be, so that way you don't get yourself in trouble later on because if you don't, if you don't cover yourself, you're going to end up coming back here for, for nothing at first trying to explain that, hey, this is the situation, this is what they wanted us to do, and then trying to ask for additional money, which is a really hard thing to do after the fact. So you gotta explain everything up front, so that way you make sure everybody's on the same page, and then if something happens like that where the landlord comes in and is like, wait a second here, and makes a contact to you for some reason, um, that way you can explain it to them and show them documentation of the situation that way you're fully covered and um, you know you don't have any any conflicts in the future so we spoke to the client which is the tenant and so we're gonna do what she asked for uh, I mean you know we charged only for what she's wanting so with that being said you know these rooms down here we're doing the whole things and it's clear that they need them because I mean Oh boy. And because it's empty, um, I did price break a little bit. Not a ton, but I kept the price relatively low um, based on what she's wanting us to do. So we already cleaned for her once at her new home that they purchased. And now we're cleaning here for her at the home that they were renting. So we've gotten two jobs out of it, which is great. Can't complain of that. But yeah, it's just important that you always document, document, document. So you got to make sure you cover yourself because unfortunately these days there's times where somebody will try and take advantage of you. And when it comes to rental properties, sometimes that can happen more frequently from what I've noticed. And then you're, you're stuck, um, you know, in a situation that may cost you money and when you could have just saved yourself the the headache by making sure that it was documented on paper or in your system so you can show that and that they signed for it too so that's pretty much it for this portion um haven't been able to talk about something like this in a while so yes we're gonna get this started we're gonna pre-treat uh, all the upstairs sections and then probably come down and pre-treat this and then um, do it kind of 50 50 upstairs first and downstairs that way our pre-spray doesn't dry out because this needs a good dose, as you can tell. So, all right, guys, appreciate you. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment and like the video. I do appreciate your support. We're getting up there, getting closer and closer to 700 subscribers. So 
that's awesome of you guys I see the new ones that have came in I appreciate you subscribing and checking out the content on this channel um, like I've said in the past I do try and do about three videos a week depending on our workload on average um, I try and keep it up as much as I can but yeah here we go I'm gonna get started so here's why I don't really like to particularly do jobs this way, but this is specifically what they wanted. I'm gonna just come out a little bit further to hit this area here. Um, this is what they requested. So, no, no further in than this. And then just make my way back to the door. And then a little pathway um, over here leading out to about where my foot is. This is about as far out as she wanted us to go. There's definitely going to be some variation here, but um, yeah. Personally, I do the whole thing just so it's uniform as much as possible, but you got to do what the client wants you to do write down, like I said, the things that you did for them when you have a situation like this. It should be documented anyways, regardless of anything that you think is necessary, especially this situation. And just do everything you can to make the carpet in the areas they want look its best. Something happened over here because this whole square area basically is, is pretty rough. So I'm just trying to make it look as nice as I can in the areas requested and then blend what I can together. So they didn't really ask for this right here, but to see the transition there is a little, a little messy, so I want to make it blend as much as I can. So I'm doing just a little bit extra here. Because this door was shut while we were discussing it, but I opened it to make it a little easier to go through. And sure enough, the door probably hasn't been opened in forever, so you get this these filtration lines that can become problems. So I gotta work on that a little bit. this going
see what kind of stuff we got out today. This one was in pretty bad shape and cleaned up really well. Quite impressed with the downstairs. As you could see earlier how it was doing. It's coming right now. Oh yeah. Knew that was gonna be pretty dark. Even the last job was pretty bad too. Not quite this dark though from the last one, but this one. It was pretty dirty downstairs and there's some areas upstairs that I showed you earlier in the video that were pretty bad. But thank you guys so much for watching. Alright, I can't remember who requested it, but uh, yeah. I needed to turn the AC off up here. So I'm gonna rake my way back out. Oh, okay, so this one's already off. So it must be the downstairs that's not turning off. Let's see, just to double check. Oh. Okay, so it's off. So again, this is the situation for this place. She only wanted me to do certain areas. As you can see, where we stopped, where we stopped, wanted the whole room. Wanted us to stop actually further back than here. Probably about right here, but I expanded out because I saw a couple of little spots. Didn't want us to do this part of the hallway. Wanted that bedroom. Didn't want that bedroom. She wanted us to scale back on some of the areas. Um, as I spoke about earlier, so remember y'all, document, document, document. So I put it on our paperwork, or I should say our, our digital paperwork. What? Okay, so, something you gotta watch out for in situations like this, because I uh, wouldn't be surprised if either she contacts me and either because she's now realizes what I was saying about it looking different in the areas so she only wanted the center done so there's about six inches on each side here that didn't get touched per request now this step here she wanted the whole thing because it is a pivoting point here and then all these stairs down almost all of them is the same idea as what I just set up there. About six inches or a little less on the outsides. So the way I gotta lock up for, I actually have to rake my way to the garage, so. Um, I don't remember your YouTube channel name, but uh, I did remember you asking about showing some raking, so here you go. So I am only raking my footprint path here. FYI, because we were not scotch guarding because this is a rental. So they didn't request scotch guard. And they weren't worried about it being raked out. But unfortunately, when I have to do this, they're getting some of it raked out because I'm not gonna leave my I'm not gonna leave my footprints here. Because that would be a little tacky in my opinion. 
Okay. So I apologize that it's short, but it is what it is. I'll get you some more content on that later on. So I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Nolan with Black Diamond Services. And of course, Adam did a killer job today on this carpet. Made it look fantastic. It was pretty trashed. If you go back to the beginning of the video, you'll see what I'm talking about. So another cool thing that we have, before I shut this and try and run with my phone in my hand here. So, this tree dropped all these around. All over in the grass where we had the walk, all right there. So that uh, hoser piece that I showed in previous videos, that rinses off the vacuum lines and everything very helpful for a job like this because we got junk on the hoses and couldn't help it so trying to hand wipe that off would be a pain in the neck whereas that thing makes it so much easier to do and see he's over there rinsing the filter because we um, occasionally you need to rinse the filter piece off there that goes in the boss filter and then of course we use the um, the five gallon paint uh, thinner bags or whatever they're called to be exact um, to put in there to capture most of the stuff. So periodically those need to be cleaned out because of those things capturing majority of the stuff. So anyways, that's it for today. Appreciate you guys.